about a special Clash of the Comedies edition of The Family Feud from ABC's hit sitcom, Say Hello to the Hughleys! <laughs> also from ABC Primetime, it's two guys and a girl! <laughs> You're about to see these two sitcoms battle it out for $10,000 for their favorite charities, because it's time to play! Hughley's against two guys and a girl. Normally, these people might fight over ratings or laughs, but today, they're gonna fight for their favorite charity and give them $10,000. Hey, said John, come on, let's play Hey, All right, oh, beautiful. Charity, John? Uh, it's a union uh, rescue mission. All right. Charity? Today we're fighting for the Olive Crest Homes and Services for Abused Children. All right. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on this board. Name something a cop has that might poke his wife when he hugs her. John. A nice stick. A night sack. <laughs> yeah, man. Night sack could be up there. Show it to me. Good job, we're one. Yeah, let's play. play. Yeah, let's play. Well, we're play. They're going to play. Oh, you thought I was joking? <laughs> well, you gotta get it together on this thing. John, what character do you play on that? I play uh, Millsap. I Millsap. Play, yeah, dear yeah. best friend. Yeah. A great show. Will you tell us all the characters? Sure. Uh, yeah, this this right right. here is DJ Daniels. Hi, uh, DJ. Hi. Plays Michael. How you doing? And, of course, you know him. Uh, that's the man. And the <laughs> next to the man is Mrs. Man. This is uh, Elise Neal. <laughs> Who plays Yvonne? Hi, Elise. Hello. And Eric Allen Kramer, who plays Dave Rodney. Yeah. Yo, guys! Ooh. Every week at 9.30 on Fridays? That's right. Yes, sir. I got it on A, B, B C. Mm -hmm. They better watch, right, DJ? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll try to get him to watch. You ready to play? We're going to uh -huh. ask that question again. Name something a cop has that it might poke his wife when he hugs her. Uh... His gun. Gun. Good. Good answer. Good answer. Gun. Show me gun. It's number two. Good one. E L. Name something a cop has that might poke his wife when he hugs her. Now, is this the LAPD or all the other? <laughs> <laughs> he said that. I didn't really say that. I would think uh, their little uh, thing of mace or pepper mace. spray. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Show me Mace, is it up there? Uh, All right, Elise. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's Badge. Badge. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Show me Badge, up there. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Eric, ready? Uh, handcuffs. Handcuffs. Oh. I'm cuffed. Show me handcuffs, is it up there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on, baby. John, Come on, baby. John, John, John. Oh. Millsap, John. Yeah. Name something a cop has that might poke his wife when he hugs her. Um. Uh, Three seconds. His um, belt buckle. Belt buckle. Uh, Vicky well, Johnny's belt. Good answer. Belt buckle. Good answer. Show me a belt buckle. Uh, oh, two strikes. We're leaving it up to you, DJ. Don't say you don't know. Come on, All right, you know, think Come about on, cops, you know. Name something a cop has that might poke his wife when he hugs her. Are you sure everything is up there? I don't know, let's see. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give you three seconds. His... Uh, I don't know. Sorry, man. I do not know. What's up? You got one. He 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 got, he got gone. some big money. Answer. All right, I need an answer. Come on. We're going to say flashlight. Yeah, flashlight. Oh. Oh. I didn't even think of that. Flashlight. Flashlight's up there. You get all the points. Yeah! 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 Zero. Anybody's game round two coming up. Feud, 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 feud. Welcome back to the 
Clash of the Companies on Family Feud. Two guys and a girl, and 95 points out what they have. Hughley's yet to score, but early, early, early. Let's meet these people. Nathan, nice to meet you. Pleasure, thank you, thank you. All right, what do you do on the show? You have a character I play, play uh, I, Johnny. Johnny? Dumb Johnny, right? That's what they were saying. <laughs> they all said you were the dumb one. He's on the simple. Show. He's, he's simple. Yeah, dumb yeah. is the wrong word. <laughs> well, it's, it's accurate, but I just don't like to use it a lot. All right, we'll use it. Simple. Okay. Simple, but pure and good and everything. Anyways, introduce your family. Would you? this, <laughs> this is the lovely and talented Suzanne Cryer. Hi, Suzanne. Hello. Woo! You're fun. You're that fun. Is she fun on the show? Or is Very fun. Yeah, great. Very fun. And down the line, we have the lovely and talented Richard Piccolo. <laughs> Listen, Ricola. Hello. How are you? The lovely and talented Trailer Howard. Yeah. Trailer Howard. Uh -huh. and, and the lovely and talented Julian Bach. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two guys and girls here. Yeah. Hey, Suzanne. Yes. Come on, DJ. Yes. Hey, DJ. Hi. Don't All right. Time. You want to try? <laughs> You've already I'm just done this. I'm trying to distract you. Them. Surveyed 100 people, top six answers on the board. <laughs> Name a foreign word that means goodbye. <laughs> Suzanne. Adios. Oh. Yeah. Show me adios. It's yeah. 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 hey, it. That's our play. There's uh, six play. answers. Play. There's six answers bring all together. Play. I say bring it on. Play. Bring it play. on. Bring it on. All right, good all right. All right, Richard. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, Matt? Arriba Derchi. Arriba yeah. oh, Derchi. Arriba Derchi. Come on. Where is it? Show it to me. Yeah. 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 Come on. Here we go. 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 Hi, Jillian. Hey, Louie. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. All right, well, don't be. <laughs> Name a foreign word that means goodbye. Chow? Chow? Yeah! Chow! Yeah. Chow, chow, chow! Yeah. Back to you. Nathan? Sure, we had 100 people. Name a foreign word that means goodbye. Aloha. Good answer. Yeah. Oh, it means aloha. Oh, oh, Hello. It means hello and goodbye. Yeah. Hello and goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. Aloha. Yeah. 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 We need one more. <laughs> That's the brutal part. I'm gonna go with Alvidazen. 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 Eva, show me Alvidazen. You get all those points. If Otherwise, strike. Alvidazen. Oh. Okay. One strike. Okay. Well, it's only one. Richard, we're on, you know, it's only one. Name a foreign word. <laughs> that means goodbye. Wow. Three uh, seconds. Oh, God. Uh, Call me Louie. Uh, <laughs> two strikes. It doesn't matter. That's hard. That's two, all right? Is that two? All right, come on, trailer. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, you pulled that out of your uh, <laughs> brisket. Let me see. Shalom, is it up there? If that is Okay. Okay, we, we're going with Sayonara. It's awful good. Sayonara! If it's up there, you get the points. Sayonara. Up there. Yeah. All right. DL, Richard, play. Beautiful burn. Oh. Surveyed 100 people who think Hughley's and two guys and a girl are the greatest show on TV. All right. We really didn't, but we did survey 100 people for the top four answers that are going to be on the board. Give me a popular answer, please. Name something people use to squash an insect. Shoo. E L. Shoo. 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 I thought that was going to be another foreign word. Shoo. Shoot. Number one. That's a play. We're playing. We're, we're, we're playing. Hi, Lisa. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. 
Name something people use to squash an insect. A newspaper. Newspaper. <laughs> newspaper. 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 All right. Yeah. Eric, how you doing? Good, sir. Good. Name something people use to squash an insect. Fly swatter. Tell me fly swatter. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, John. Magazine. Yeah. That's different from newspaper. Roll that up. Come on. All right, magazine, if it's up there, you get all those points. If not, strike. <laughs> One strike, right? Come on, DJ. All right, DJ, you ever kill any bugs? Yeah, we a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta have something else. Name something people use to squash an insect. Um, their hand. All right. All right. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Chubby hand. Oh, was good answer. I thought it was a good answer. All right, Dio. Name something people used to squash an insect. I would say a dish towel or a towel. Or towel? Oh, the yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. If it's up there, you get the point. If not, we go to the two guys or a girl and a girl and get an answer. Show me. That's good. We're going to say a, a tissue. Tissue. That's what you do, you do. My mom would always do that. Show me a tissue. If tissue's there, you get the points. If not, you get the points. Tissue. Uh, oh, gosh, that's why I wouldn't say. Anybody have an idea? A book. A broom. Oh, let's see. A broom. A book. A book. The smart people say that. You guys, 181. Two guys and a girl, 95. I'm going to triple the points. Welcome back to the Clash of the Comedies on Family Feud. Welcome back. We've got a great game going. The Euclid's have 181. Two guys and a girl have 95. <laughs> I'm gonna triple the points. <laughs> Trailer, Elise, let's play. Trailer, trailer. She's just cheering for you. <laughs> Point values tripled. Anybody's game. Surveyed 100 people. Name something you associate with Popeye. Elise. Big muscles. Big muscles. <laughs> Show me big muscles. <laughs> Wow, I'm crushed. Everyone has. Popeye has big muscles. Name something you associate with Popeye, I'm surprised. Yes. Spinach. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely hate spinach. Show me spinach up there. One, one strike. One strike. One strike only. It's okay. It's okay. They're gonna, it's okay. You'll be right. Be ready, though. Be ready. You guys. You guys, you need to be ready. Come on. Ready? Yep. Julian. Here we go. Olive oil? Olive oil. Yeah. Oh, Popeye! Up there! Yeah! Uh-oh. I didn't know. Ready, Nathan? Yes. Here it is. It's all on your shoulders. Aim something you associate with Popeye, and you'll play for $10,000 for your charity. Oh, Popeye. <laughs> A pipe. A pipe. A pipe. If pipe's up there, they're gonna play for 10,000. If not, Hughley's get a chance to steal. So <laughs> Bye, show me it. Yeah. I get it. Who's gonna play fast money? Fast money. Fast money. is sponsored in part by... Palmolive Spring Sensations. Cool ocean breeze. It's springtime every time you do dishes. Palmolive Spring Sensations. Spring is in the air. Welcome back. Two 
guys and a girl won the game. They're going to pay for $10,000 for Olive Crest Homes and Services for Abused Children. Yeah. Yeah. So Susanna's back there fighting with Olive over Popeye, so she can't hear anything to say. You get 200 <clears throat> points or more with Susanna, you get $10,000 for your charity. Good luck, okay? 20 seconds on the clock. Thank you. The clock starts when I finish the first question. Name something you see a lot of in rock music videos. Girls. Name something you might see on a bathroom floor. Toilet paper. Name a body part that gets sore after a long day's work. Back. Name something you'd find at a Chinese restaurant. Chopsticks. Name a holiday that always falls on a Monday. Easter. Easter. <laughs> Easter Monday. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You did good. You did great. Name something you see a lot of in rock music videos. You said Goyles. That's what I said. 28. Good job. Name something you might see on the bathroom floor. TP. Toilet paper up there. That's what I said. Five. I, mean, I was thinking public bathroom. <laughs> Name a body part that gets sore after a long day's work. You said back. My aching back. That's what I said. Good job. Name something you find in a Chinese restaurant besides me. You said chopsticks. Survey said. Ooh, you saved yourself. Okay, here's the one I like. Name a holiday that always falls on a Monday. You said so see Easter. <laughs> it is a good one. Come on, have fun with that. I love I want to be on her show with her. All right, you're going to ask the same five questions. Okay, or easier uh, ones, if you want to. Yeah, maybe I will make up some things. <laughs> show everybody, but Suzanne, those questions that Big Nathan gave us. Ready? Give me 25 seconds on the clock. Let's give her a few more seconds. Clock starts when I finish the first question. Name something you see a lot of in rock music videos. Uh, dancing girls. Try again. Uh, belly buttons. Name something you might see on a bathroom floor. Uh, a towel. Name a body part that gets sore after a long day's work. Uh, your feet. Good one. Name something you'd find at a Chinese restaurant. Chopsticks. Try again. Chop suey. Good. Name a holiday that always falls on Monday. Um, Labor Day? I think it does. <laughs> Always on a Monday. <laughs> Name something you see a lot of in rock music videos. You said the old any or Audi belly button. So everybody said? I have girls on the brain. Yeah, well. Oh, I'm sorry. Name something you might see on a bathroom floor. You said towel. Towel, towel, towel. Survey said? Yeah. Okay. Well, By the way, women was the number one answer. <laughs> Half the naked women. And uh, this, you, a rug or a mat or a carpet was the thing. That for... just seemed kind of obvious. Well, <laughs> that's what we're playing here on the feud. <laughs> Name a body part that gets sore after a long day's work. You said my aching feet. Yeah. Survey said. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not sure we're gonna do it. Wait a minute. Uh, we're not. Back was number one, so we had it. Yeah. All right. But chop suey, Ivy. Ivy. It's, Easter. Uh, it's no. It's Name no Easter. something you'd find at a Chinese restaurant. You said chop suey. Survey said. People from two guys and a girl out of here. <laughs> Name a holiday that always falls on Monday. You said labor to here. You get to hold this. Survey said.
I was forced to retire from the game because of a leg injury. But thanks to Inholtra's patented formula, I'm now pain-free. Stop the pain today with Inholtra and stay in the game. We are Flintstones kids. Pediatricians recommend Flintstones more than any other children's chewable vitamin. Flintstones, the pediatrician's number one choice. It's Jennifer Leather's lowest price four-piece living room package. A sofa and love seat for just $9.99, plus a free chair and ottoman. Only from Jennifer Leather. Hey, you can play feud online anytime at www.upward.com. Who wants to marry a multi-millionaire?